What's up? My name is Natalie and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to be doing, you might think, what the heck, this is a bit crazy, like what kind of teenage girl, is this true, is this clickbait? No, this is true. I am going to be doing my first full face makeup in years. The makeup I use is lipstick and sometimes mascara, which I wear with lipstick a lot, but I never wear like full face makeup ever. I don't have any foundation or anything like that, or concealer, blah blah blah. I literally went out today and brought some for this video. So I got a few items and I bought a few items for my sister to use. I just don't wear makeup, I don't know how to do it. I feel like you need to be very skilled and learn a lot of intricate things to actually be able to do makeup. So girls who do makeup good, I applaud you. I don't know how you do it because it's just a mystery to me. But yeah, today I want to do a full face makeup for the first time in years and actually try to actually try to do it and see the results that come out of it and see what happened, like actually my efforts into it. So this is going to be interesting, but I hope you guys enjoy and let's get on to the products that I'm going to be using because I couldn't afford to get a bunch of things. So some things might be missing. So I have borrowed my sister's eyeshadow palette. I don't know what it's called. Uh, it's just some random stuff. It's just like very hmm, right, fully painted. Here we go. So I don't know what colours are. These all look neutral. And I'm going to be looking up some tutorials. I have a psychic and genius cover foundation that looks like my skin colour, I guess. I don't know. How do I know what you know foundation etc. as my skin colour? That looks very hard. I don't know how to do that stuff. PS dark brown eyebrow gel that I bought today because eyebrows are a prominent part of every girl's makeup and I want to like eyebrows and fleek and blah blah blah. So I don't know what to get some eyebrow gel. Thrown into that. My sister's Pom Pom Boost mascara. I've got some lipstick here that actually mines. <laughs> One thing I own is lipstick, yay. Sort of an eyeshadow brush, I'm gonna guess. Highlight stick because everyone's wearing a highlight nowadays. Basically, what happened is I was watching a foundation routine and she applied primer to her face. She was mixing two foundations together, etc. And I was just like, why is there so many complications? put foundation on and she also recommended to dampen your beauty blender which I did and upon my sister's suggestion too and now I'm about to just swatch this on I couldn't do it in the shop so let's just see how it looks I don't have my contact lenses in so it's going to be really hard to see I'm going to have to hold them really close to my face I have a moustache right now and like eyebrow hair It's going to look more prominent when I put this on But yeah, let's just dab away I guess um, This is like looking much different from my actual skin colour Oh my god Why am I like with my skin colour with like, no if you have like a massage, you're supposed to put foundation on it because it's a concealer or in my opinion I feel like it just emanates it really so I don't understand. This looks like way too much but I guess this is the normal moment because whenever I've put foundation on it in the past I've done little dots and put one here, one here, one here, one here and like one here and like blended it with like a brush so on my fingers or whatever. So maybe this cute blender and this technique of put it all over my face. Permitted me to use her bronzer, no her powder, her set powder that she just brought to for herself. Her skin's lighter than mine's, but this looks a bit orangeyish almost, and I feel like this can hopefully balance its whiteness of this foundation out because it just, oh my gosh. This is a kind of colour, I think it looks more whiter on camera. It kind of looks more orangey in real life, like it kind of maybe would help. I don't know, but it's too light for my skin anyway, that's quite evident. Oh crap, I haven't watched a tutorial on this, but I don't know, I'm just gonna apply it all over my skin and kind of blend it in, I mean, the basics. <laughs> Cover up my flaws. Cover up, well, <laughs> we're gonna need a lot more makeup to cover up my flaws, but yeah. Now it just looks sickly. With all this rubbish on my face. So, well, I'm not saying makeup bad if I said I can't do it. I'm saying if I had a makeup artist to my makeup every day, that would just be amazing because then I just look like a completely different person. Eh? Skin's looking more thick now with some makeup. Oh, look at my forehead, whoa. Oh my gosh, that is a lot of stuff. Oh, this is a lot. I could definitely tell it looks like I tried way too hard to put on makeup and cake on my face and look pretty and stuff, but it looks like it just failed. Oh. Okay guys, so next of all, I'm going to apply a stick highlighter. I think you can just dab it along cheek lines and blend it out or whatever. I don't know if I should put a dab on my nose because I see people on YouTube have like highlighted my nose. I don't know why people do this. I mean, I don't know if it looks nice or not. I can't make up my mind. I only had a highlight on my face once my friend in it. I didn't really recognize the difference it made. So I was like, so that's free, what the heck? Okay, so 
Ja, weer komen. Nog wat je moet daar gewoon hier. Oh, nog wat je doet. Ah, guys, ik ben zo dom. Je moet je make-up weer doen, like. Oké. Oké. Wow, 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 wow. Look at this. Look at this big smear. It's just been added. Wow. Okay, guys. Hopefully you can see the disaster of this highlighter. I don't even know what to say right now. Who can even botch up highlighter? It seems simple. You struggle and you blend it out. But, um, my name is Natalie Smith, so that's all you need to know about me. Eyebrow gel that I'm guessing you just kind of gel your eyebrows into shape and it has a lot of colour at the term as well. Let's get it started. Hey. As you can tell by my eyebrows, the one has a gap. Is this one that has a gap in here? This one has a lot of gap. I don't know how it's happened. It's like a lot of scar thingy because I can't grow back here in this place. It's, yeah, I should have always been doing my eyebrows because it's like a mess or something, but I don't really mind. I know since so bad, but I always shave between my eyebrows. messy dot is out of place the rest of it. Basically you can tell how awful it is but I promise to feel a piece of makeup so I'm going to be finishing on mascara and lipstick. My mascara is as well because I'm all trying to separate the clumps of lashes that get stuck together. They went on really nice and my lashes did not come together at all. Wait. The next thing I got was this Oops. As you can tell, I definitely failed. I think I look way better without this makeup on my face, but at the same time, because this is the wrong makeup, this is the wrong look for me. I don't know what I would look like with proper makeup done, professional, looking actually legit, like my skin colour, things that suit my face, things that apply properly to my face. I don't know how that would actually look, but I know I look way better also without this makeup look. Overall, at least I got to the kind of double makeup, have a lot of fun, waste my money. Oh, my face looks more normal than it's like on the camera. It looks like whitish. This doesn't look like foundations on the one thing like in. I'll see you guys in my next video. Remember to subscribe because I post videos every single week. Follow my social medias down below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye!